40 euro annual standing charge for the installation of meters will be included in household water bills from 2014. The Minister for the Environment confirmed the charge as he announced that Board Gosh would be given responsibility for setting up a state-owned water utility company. Installation of meters will begin in October, but a decision has yet to be made on how much will be charged for water or what allowances will be given. After a weekend of some confusion ahead of today's cabinet meeting, Phil Hogan outlined the shape of the body that will take over responsibility for the provision of water. Irish Water will be a subsidiary of Board Gosh Erin. The programme of installing metres will start this October, but no one will be billed until 2014. There'll be no upfront charge for installation, but there will be an annual standing charge of some €40. Euro. The actual cost of water will be determined by the new company and the regulator. Today's decision is an important one for the minister and the government. This is a very big decision. It's probably one of the biggest decisions that have been made since the establishment of the ESB as a public utility company. But what about the weekend confusion over the cost of metering? There was some confusion uh, because of €300 Euro that got into uh, the airwaves and it got into the media. For some reason I don't understand where. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, what I'm saying is that there will be no upfront charge for people that will have their meters installed and there will be no charges uh, introduced uh, for our customers until such time as the metering programme is complete. Opposition reaction ranged from the lukewarm to the hostile. There's nothing new here apart from the fact that Board Gash will run this new operation. We have no idea of the cost per householder. Uh, there is still going to be a charge for the meter. It seems that that charge will be spread over a large number of years, which will mean people have to pay more. Uh, there's no idea of the amount of staff they employ. This is another stealth tax, another burden on working people, on those who can ill afford yet more punitive charges. Plenty of questions still to answer, of course, primarily how much we'll end up paying for our water. But Phil Hogan has succeeded in establishing a political firewall in Irish water between the government and this unpopular issue. And when problems arise as they will, he'll be able to refer complaints directly to the new semi-state. David Davenpower, RTE News, Government Buildings. And our political correspondent David McCullough joins us now from Government Buildings. An end to all the confusion, David? Well, I wouldn't think so, Eileen. Uh, after today, we still don't know uh, many of the key questions about uh, these water charges. We don't know how much the water charges are actually going to be. We don't know how much of a free allowance of water each house will get before it's charged. We don't even know for definite uh, uh, about this €40 Euro a year standing charge per household. That's uh, an estimate based on the cost of repaying uh, the, uh, the loan to the Pension Reserve Fund. All of those issues are to be decided by the regulator in due course, probably not for another year or so, because remember, we're not going to start paying these bills until 2014, a full two years away, so there's plenty of time for, spe for speculation uh, between now and then, but as David Davenport said, uh, the government has installed something of a firewall between itself and these decisions. It's the regulator that will decide uh, what the charges are, so uh, the government will uh, tell angry members of the public, I suppose, to go and complain to the regulator rather than to them. But there has been some confusion over the weekend, and it certainly wasn't helped by the Taoiseach's comments on Sunday. He might have been better advised to follow the example of his tarnished and simply say no decisions have been made yet.